Bill Doobie here. Welcome to tonight's video where we are going to be loading up this bread machine. I already have it started it's on delayed timing. We'll start making bread at about four or five this morning and bread will be ready around six. In nine hours and 15 minutes, bread will be ready. This is our bread pan, which we are loading up tonight. The paddle is already installed. We load up all the wet ingredients, or what I call wet, which is one and a half cups of water. We're using the Breadman Corner Bakery and also the cookbook that comes with it. Two tablespoons of oil. I'm using canola oil. Two tablespoons of sugar, using organic sugar here. Two tablespoons of dry milk. I have found that regular milk, if you try to use that in a bread machine, for some reason the bread doesn't come out well. Two teaspoons of salt. That's our wet ingredients. Now what we're gonna do is take it all and stir it up. The major thing I want to do is get everything stirred up. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is not actually called for in the recipe. It's just something that I do. There it is. And I'd have to tilt the camera down a little bit you can see it. All right, we're down to our last two ingredients here. Then I'm going to detach the camera. Two teaspoons of yeast. We had that last. We have four cups. I've pre-measured out the flour. I'm using actually bread flour. First time in a long time I'm using bread flour. Usually I just use whatever I can grab my hands on. All right, so that's all pre-measured and put in there. Try to center it a little bit. We put the yeast volcano. That's what I'm using my fingers for. I probably could have just used the shot glass and put it in that way. Now we're going to put the yeast in. Let's see if I can grab this without dropping it. Here we go. If you hear me crying, you'll know I dropped it. Okay. Here's the yeast. There's the volcano. We're now one hand in the camera for the rest of this. We Notice that's the front. I think that's what it said. Yeah, front. We take the bread and we drop her in. Ah, there we go. This is one of my favorite bread machines, the Breadman Corner Bakery. And that's pretty much it. We're all set, ready for tomorrow. When we come back, we should have bread. Right in the center, there's the yeast volcano. There's the flour. And underneath is all the wet ingredients. Here's the timer. And tomorrow, we come back to bread, hopefully. Wish us luck. There we go. All right, corner baker, all the things. Here's our manual, two pound loaf. This is what we're making. It's morning. That's what you see when you get the bread in the morning is. And there's our bread. Yum. Let's see, can I touch this? It's been it's still warm. We'll have the cat serenading us in the background. Here we are. Bread. Yep, there's our bread. If you have a bread machine and it finishes it and it hasn't been sitting for a couple hours, you do not want to do this because you'll need mitts to handle it. Nice two pound loaf of bread. We're gonna let it sit for a while. 
you're always going to be losing a little bit at the bottom from the paddle. Here we are. We've let the bread sit for a while. And we've already even sliced off the back end of the bread. This is where the bread paddle used to be, obviously. And this is the Victoria Knox knife. I'll put a link to this down below. This is one of the this is the best bread knife you can get. I would recommend this highly over getting a bread slicing guide because you can just let the knife guide you on down through the down through the bread. If you get it started off properly, you're going to get a perfect slice of bread almost every time. There we go. Nice hot slice of bread slice of bread off of a nice new loaf we'll give it a taste that's great bread if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe and check out this video over here i heard it's going to be a real good one every day this side of the dirt is a great day so go out there have some fun stay covid safe